and welcome back to the card mat. Yeah, I've just had a little sip. Nick here, MD Magic, wanted to see a couple of card forces, a couple of wave forcing cards. So I'm going to show you a few ways of forcing cards. I'm going to be forcing my little lady, right? Um, first one, we'll do a Hindu. Have your force card on top of the packet. And start stripping cards off from the bottom. Make sure that every time you do it, you you bring this hand with the packet just past the edge of them. And you're pulling just a couple of cards off each go. And each time you do it, you're going to be turning the packet so they're seeing a different card on the bottom. So they get used to the idea, it's a different card. Right? It's pretty fair. You're not doing anything shady. No, not in the slightest. Put the packet on the top. Give them an overhand shuffle and just shuffle your force cards down to the bottom. And then you go into doing your force. So you do the exact same thing, but this time you're taking cards off the top of the packet. And just one or two cards at a time. Just so that you can keep going and keep going. And it makes it look like you are continually stripping cards out of the middle of the packet. Because how the hell can you do this for that long? with just the one packet you know what i mean and eventually they will say stop eventually but not just yet they're not bored enough yet now they are because you dropped cards they say stop and after all of that i've still got about 10 ish cards in my hand and i will show them that so i've just gone and forced it on them so again just stripping a couple of cards off the top making sure you go past the packet and drop your hand down at the back so it makes it look like you're pulling cards out. And then they'll say, stop. And you force the queen on them. Uh, dead easy one, the crisscross force. Card you want to force goes on top of the packet. You ask your spectator to give the packet a cutting. You'll then pick up the bottom half of the packet and put it across it like that. Then you will talk to them so their eyes come up and you have an eye contact, eye contact with them. Just to get the mind off what's happened down there. You say, right, now let's see what card you've cut to. And you'll pick them up and they'll turn that card over, which was the top card of the packet anyway. But with a little bit of time to misdirection, they don't get onto that. So that's the, the crisscross. There's um, a cardini. A way of doing, doing the cardini, you know, where you're just flipping the card out. You're not doing the full cardini, you're taking the card right underneath. You're just going to stick it out at the side. And you're going to pick the packet up and then dribble it. They'll say stop and then you'll show them their card. So all you're doing, as your hand comes over, flipping it up as a cardini. Picking the cards up, dribbling them down, they'll say stop. You're closing that card back onto the top as you move that hand away. Turn your hand over and show them the cards you wanted them to have. Um, glide. Do not like in a glide. A um, couple of ways of doing this. Hold the packet so you got like a ski slope. And as you're riffling down, you're just then going to be using your fingers just to go shoo and shove that card back a bit. Riffle down, shove the card back a bit. Riffle down, shove the card back a bit. Till it goes about levelish with the back of the packet. And then they'll say stop. And you just break out everything from above the force card and from the middle of the deck. And then you'll turn over and show them the card that they've got them freely picked. Um, you can do it this way where you're pulling the cards back off the packet. And as you do it, you keep pulling at the card on the bottom with your thumb until you get that into the right place. And then they'll say stop. And then you'll show them the card you wanted them to have. Um, you can even do it on the side that way and just push it back and push it back. And you want to stop there and you've stopped on the queen. So there's a couple of ways you can do it with the glide. Um, doing it in a palm. Let's go for a difficult one. Doing it in a palm. You break the card, ooh. you get the card into a palm and hold the packet. So you hide the card with the packet and they'll say stop and you'll go there. You'll bring that packet to the top 
And in the process of squaring it all up, you just deposit that card onto the top and you force it. Um, you can palm the card, go do us a favour, give that packet a cutting, keep your fingers closed. They'll cut the packet, you'll go like, let's see what you've cut to, and you drop that card onto the top as you're picking it up. Um, very, very, very advanced one. You can palm the card, get them to pick a card. They want that one. And then just do that, and you do that, and you do that, and you force that card. Probably a bit better than what I've just done. I haven't done that in years. So as I say, you just palm the card, get them to pick one. You throw it onto the table. You've got that in palm. You're just going to use that card to get underneath, underneath that card. And then as you're squaring it up, you're just going to pick that one up into palm as that one there gets turned over and kicked out of your hand. And that just joins back onto the packet as you're going to turn your hand over. So you palm it, pick a card, choose a card, you want that one, close up, goes underneath, oh, nearly missed it, you get that, you put that to there, and you've got to force that card on them. Um, a riffle force, have the um, force card on the top, cut it to the middle and keep a break, riffle the packet till they say stop, put your hand over it and do your break from the back where you've got your big pinky break you're just picking everything up with your thumb from there not where that is because if you when you break it up you should be picking that up in the middle but obviously you're closing it as you do it and then you show the card that they've picked um a double lift they pick a card you want that one okay get it to the top do your double lift you've picked the queen of spades Turn your hand over, steal the top card off, and pass them the card. You've just gone and lost the one that they did pick on the top. Um, yeah. Um, another one with the double lift. Pick a card. You want that one. Right. Put it on the top. You pick the queen. Tell you what, we'll put your queen right in the middle of the packet. And when you get it there, all you're going to do is push the card at the back down into the packet tell you what we won't use we won't put the queen in the packet we'll let you keep hold of it so you got it in the second place you do a double lift we'll put your card into the middle of the packet and i'll tell you what we won't put it into the middle of the packet we'll actually give it to you to hold on to yeah so you can do like that um sure card i was wondering why i had that there a sure card all you do is cut a millimeter to a millimeter and a half off one edge Put it underneath your force card and cut it into the middle. And by riffling down the force card, here, the force card, the sure card will drop, leaving your force card in your hand. And it does if you do it properly. <laughs> uh, I didn't stop in time. Nay, the sure card should drop, leaving you with that. If you want to be really cocky. Think of a card, any card you see, you remember a card, but not that one, it's too obvious it's on the front. Then you just got to get your pacing right doing that. And you should get the... Now you might get it, if it actually drop down. You just get a little break, longer than anything else, on that Queen of Spades. If you can get it right. But it's all for getting your timing right, so you're not stopping there too long. So that's using the sure card. There's my sure card gone. There's my queen. And you've got a cup deep, cup, cut deeper force. Do us a favour, cut a small chunk off that packet, turn it over and put it back down again. So you cut a small chunk off that packet, turn it over and put it back down again. Cut a bigger chunk off that packet, turn it over and put it back down again. So they cut a bigger packet off, turn it over and put it back down again. You go, right, now we're going to take the first face down card we come to. And you spread through till you find your first facing down card. That's the Queen of Clubs, that's all right. And it is your force card. Um, you can call out the force card on the bottom. This is often called the, the gravity force as well, I think. Or something like it. Yeah, as you start spreading the cards out, asking them to pick a card, you're just going to peel that bottom card off, the force card, 
of underneath your spread as you can see and then make sure all the other cards get spread on the top of it and then they'll say stop and you just close up and you've got them forced it so tell me when to stop and you spread that bottom card out all the others are going in between it you just make sure it doesn't pop out like that and they'll say stop and whenever they say stop that's the situation you're in without the card hitting the deck and as you square up it just leaves that one on the bottom so you can call it um, another nice one choose a card they want that one out jog it in the packet then in the process of turning your hand over you're actually giving them the the force card cards out jogged as you're turning it over what you're going to be doing is using them fingers to push that card into the packet as your thumb pinches the top card onto them and you pull away you want that card there pull away no without doing that i nearly took two um you got the classic force which will take a lot of practice selected card or force card gets cut into the middle you're holding the break you ask your spectator to pick a card now you gotta get your time and spot on with this you start spreading the cards out over there and as you bring it around and their hand comes out as soon as their hand is just about to pinch you just get that card there and you're basically doing that with it but you're not you're doing that with it taking the entire pack forward so that they end up grabbing that card and coming away with it now as i say we'll take a lot of practice you will need to practice on somebody somebody who's quite happy just to stand there and do that all day for a couple of hours at a time without a cup of tea or a toilet break yeah um you can use a mexican turnover select the card you want that one right i don't want to be accused of cheating so i'll use this card here to turn your card over so you're just going to have done um a force using the mexican turnover and uh, slip cut have the card you want to force on the top riffle down the packet they say stop and you've got to force that card onto them so all you're doing is riffling they say stop them three fingers contacting that back card as your hand is turning over you're going to be pulling the packet out leaving that card there and then pushing out that top card with your thumb but you do have to get your timing right on it with your turning over so that they don't see anything whatsoever and there you go i think i'll leave it at that i've shown you quite a few there i need a hang on i just need a bit right so there's quite a few for you to be getting on with surely surely there's something in there which grabs grabs your fancy anyway i'm quite tired after all of this thank you very much for watching i do hope you enjoyed it and um, don't forget md magic i will leave a link in the description box go and check the guy out and sub and i will see you again soon mm -hmm.